there was once a wise girl. Her name was Masabe. She lived with her mother. They had a little land which they farmed, but all that they earned they had to pay in rent to a tyrant, a king, a powerful king, a selfish man. Masabe loved a blacksmith. She wished to marry him. One day the king rode on his white elephant. He saw Masabe. He desired her. She will be my new wife. I may have three hundred, but one more, my new conquest. The king rode on his white elephant to the small house by the river where Masabe's mother lived. I will marry your daughter. No, said Masabe's mother. She knew about the tyrant king's cruelty and greed. She knew about her daughter's love. You say no to me when you owe me such a debt in rent? Well, the king was furious as he rode away. The next day he returned with a band of soldiers. He returned in his shining armour, a crown bejewelled with rubies. There was Masabe with her mother, and there was her love, the blacksmith beside the river. Masabe, you will be my new wife. Here, I have a game. In this beautiful red embroidered bag, there are two stones, one white and one black. Masabe, you put your hand and take a stone. If it is the white stone, your mother's debt is cancelled and you do not have to marry me. But if the stone you pick is black, then the debt is cancelled and you will be my wife. What do you say? No, said Masabe's mother. I agree, said Masabe. I will do it. She looked at her love, the blacksmith. She looked at the king. She walked towards him and reached into the bag and took out a stone, gripped tightly in her hand. She looked, peeped and cried out with joy, I am safe, I do not have to marry the king. And she danced and she leapt and she cried with joy and she flung the stone so it fell into the river. What are you doing? said the king. Oh, in my joy at not having to marry you, mighty king, I have <laughs> dropped the stone into the river. But do not worry. I am telling you it was the white stone. Look in the bag and see the stone that remains, so you can be sure. The king was confused. The king was angry. The king in front of all his soldiers was ashamed. He knew that Masabe was wiser than him. He went away. And Masabe, well, of course, she married her love, the blacksmith, and they lived a long and happy life.